Hello friends, welcome back. We will see some very basic errors encountered commonly through the programs. Study the following piece of code. Can you find the function of this code? The program is intended to input two numbers A and B and find out the or to perform one of the following four arithmetic operations on the numbers entered depending on the operator's choice. Do you think this code will work accordingly? Well, the answer is no. In order to understand the reason, let us execute the program. Now, let us give the values of a and B as 2 and 8 and press enter. The result shown to us is 0. It means the input for the operator has not been taken from us. The program is perfectly fine but still we are not able to read the operator. Let us see why. Such problems will always come whenever we try to read a combination of integers and characters especially when we read character variable after reading the integer values. It is not the problem of the source code but it is related to the working of this standard input file. In all the computers and operating systems, all of the inputs from the keyboard first get stored in the standard input file named as stdin file, which is internally managed by the operating system. The input statements such as scanf or gets always look for the desired data in this stdin file first. If the data is present there, it is fetched directly into these statements. But if not, the scanf statement starts waiting for the data to be inputted from the keyboard. But again, the keyboard data will first be stored in this stdin file. And then this stored data is fetched by these statements from the stdin file again. So it waits for the user to give inputs through the keyboard. And again the keyboard data will first get stored in this stdin file and then from here to the scanf. Now let us try to see the execution of the program. When the first scanf statement comes shown here, it tries to read from the stdin file which is initially empty. So it waits for us to give inputs through the keyboard. Now the input given by us is 2, 8 and then we press enter. Now the whole of this data that is the integer values and the enter goes to the stdin. Now the first scanf statement is executed and it fetches the value 2 as a and 8 as b. The values fetched from the stdin file are automatically removed from these files and now the remaining thing is the enter key pressed here in the stdin file. So when the second scanf statement starts executing, it finds that one character that is this enter is also present in the stdin file and thus this enter character gets read as the value of this variable operator. So no more input is taken from the user. Now 
This is a very common problem and the solution for this is to empty the STDIN file. Now by emptying the STDIN file before reading any character inputs can be done using fflush function. Let us see the execution of fflush function with the help of a program. Here we have used the fflush function to empty the STDIN file. Now let us try to execute this program and find out the output. We enter the values of A and B as 2, 8 and then press enter. Now the operator entered is the plus sign. So the output is 2 plus 8 that is 10. So f plus function should be used in all other programs where previously present white spaces may disrupt the next character input. Let us see one more problem using scanf statement. Pause the video and kindly try to analyze the output of this code. What output do you expect if the value of a and b are 2 and 3 respectively. Now you might be expecting the added output to be 5. Let us execute the program. Let us enter the two numbers as 2 and 3. See the output is not 5 but it rather generates a runtime error or a code dump. Most of us initially make such simple mistakes. We forget to use address operator AND in these scanf statements. Let us try to put the AND operator and see the execution of the program again. Now let us execute the program. Now we enter the two values to be 2 and 3. The output is 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5. Now another very simple program shown below is to point out a common mistake committed by most of the novice programmers. Suppose if 5 and 6 are the values given by the user for A and B respectively, do we get 11 as the result? Let us execute the program and find out. We enter the values as 5 and 6. But the answer is not 11. Let us see why. The garbage output of such a simple program is really strange. You are guessing the reason correctly. The scanf is reading two values using percentage %d. Although these have been declared as float type. So even if you do not input the fractional parts of A and B, the input will not be read correctly because the representation of this float data type differs significantly from that of the integer data type. So the scanf tries to store the inputted values in the form of integers binary equivalent and thus does not work correctly with the storage of float data type. Hence, either A and B should be declared of the data type int or percentage %f should be used in scanf as well as printf. Let us see the result by changing it to percentage %f.
now we enter the two values as 4 and 6 so the answer is 10 because here the float data type a and b convert the integer values of 4 and 6 as 4.0000 and 6.000 respectively and the final answer is stored as 10.000 in a plus b now input and output statements must use proper conversion characters for our output to be displayed correctly so percentage d is used for integer data types percentage f is used for float data types and percentage ld is used for long int data types stay tuned and keep watching